Hey everyone, Sean here from Grayscale Gorilla. In today's quick start, I'm going to show you how we can get the most out of our new car paint materials. So after you've gone ahead and downloaded them from the Grayscale Gorilla Hub, they will automatically appear in the Plus Library. And as you can see, we have here Arnold, Octane, and Redshift. In this case, I'm going to show you how to set up the Redshift versions. The other important thing we want to keep in mind is that we are running the latest version of Redshift that supports OSL, in this case 3.0.39. So I'm going to throw this blueprint blue here onto these body parts, which I've kind of isolated out from this wonderful Corvette model, which you can snag off of CG Trader if you want to follow along. But I'm, uh, yeah, going to fire up the render view and let's see what we get here and just like that out of the box we get a very nice looking car paint i'm going to try out this hot orange definitely a favorite another one that turned out really cool is this magnetic gray especially on this corvette it looks pretty sweet now if i hop into this closer camera here that i've set up we can get a better look at all these flakes going on and if I open up the shader graph, let me dock this guy here. We can dive in here and start to customize our flakes. So these are procedurally based and we can get in here and adjust the scale. By default, the scale is set up correctly as long as your car models are set up at the correct scale. If you bring in a car model you've got somewhere and the flakes are gigantic or they don't look right, and you may want to adjust the scale of your car model, or you can always get in here and play around with the scale in the actual shader. So with these set to a value of two, we can get a better sense of what's going on here. If I crank up the density to a value of one, now we essentially have flakes everywhere. And if I turn up the randomization to you know, 0.8, that's going to change sort of the virtual rotation of the flakes. And if I set this to 0.1, they will appear a lot more flat. So we give you a ton of control in how you can adjust these guys. A value of around 2.5 or 0.25 for the randomize is pretty good. And maybe the density should be around 0.4 and we'll get the scale back to a reasonable number. That's looking a little more correct. But yeah, if we go into the rest of the material here, under the base and specular layers here, here's where we can start to play around with the colors. So you can see even with this silver, we actually have kind of this purpley base coat. But let's say I wanted to make a blue paint, switch this to a nice blue, and then I can go into this Fresnel shader here and adjust the specular coat. I'm gonna hop out of my close camera here. You can see what we got going on. This is already looking really cool. And maybe I kind of put some purple in here. So yeah, you, you can just have a ton of fun with these. They're a lot of fun to play with. Let's see here, here's the flake color. Make green flakes if we want. There we go, that's looking really cool. We also have some camo wraps. Let me throw that onto the actual car body here. These turned out really cool. There's this tech camo, which I'm a huge fan of. These are a ton of fun. I really can't wait to see what everyone creates with these things. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. We will see you very soon in the next one.